Hey everybody, it's Paula without Bella. She's sitting on the other side of the couch. And today I'd like to do a dog food review of a YouTube video of somebody making dog food. In my free time, I like to get onto YouTube and look at videos. And a lot of dog food videos come up because, you know, I do look at them and I, I am just appalled how horrible these videos are on YouTube and more appalled how many views they have and how many people love what these videos are showing. So the one I'm gonna to show today, it's titled Homemade Dog Food Recipe from a Past Veterinary Technician, exclamation point. So, you know, if you're a YouTuber, you know that there's certain key words that are gonna sort when you're looking for a recipe. And this person, he put in vet, veterinarian and technician along with dog food. Well, so somebody is gonna say, oh, this is a recipe from a vet tech. It has to be good. Really? The majority of veterinarians do not know about nutrition, nor do the vet techs, okay? We need to educate people. So this, this particular recipe has over 86,000 views and 419 comments. And I just went through the first 12 and they said, fascinating, you know, great video. I'm gonna try this today. Well, let's go and look at this video and I'm gonna see how smart you are from listening to all my videos and let's critique this video together. Have any of that today? I have carrots and celery. Uh, we have chicken livers. We have chicken gizzards and hearts and these things are great. They're really cheap, two bucks for this big pack. This thing was only like buck 50 for tons of chicken livers. Then, got some ground turkey and some ground beef. So we have some turkey, beef, we got some chicken livers, gizzards, and then we have some chicken thighs. Now this is- Okay, so the first video we saw, what's wrong with it? Well, it's like a Tur Duncan. He's doing all the proteins, combining them together. The turkey, the beef, the egg, and the chicken. I don't do that. I do one protein per meal and I rotate the protein so I'm not cooking all the time. But what else is wrong with that? Does it seem odd to you? He did all of those proteins and then he's adding like five carrots, a piece of celery, and, and then you'll see there's rice and eggs. Isn't that way too much protein? What's wrong with too much protein? Too much protein can cause strain on the dog's kidneys because the all that excessive pro, proteins has all excessive other nutrients. It's just way too much protein. I, I don't know why he's doing that. Okay, let's look on at the next part. A little bit of water in my pan here. It's about uh, an inch or so, maybe two inches deep. Okay, in that video we just looked at, did you see how he put a little bit of water? I think he said it was one or two inches deep. Keep that in mind. Let's move on. And we got the ground beef. And then we have these chicken livers. All very healthy stuff for dogs. You should feed them muscle meat and organ meat. And we're just gonna pour that whole thing of chicken livers in there. Whew, that video really did me in. So I think between there was a turkey um, and the meat that was two pounds right there. The chicken was probably another pound, all right? So that's three or let's say even four pounds of meats, proteins. That chicken liver, what was wrong with that? That is a huge, huge 
issue. I like to know the type of poops that dog's having because that chicken liver is two pounds of chicken liver that he's adding to his recipe of, let's say, four pounds of meat. Now, what have I always told you about liver? Liver is an essential part of a dog's diet. I prefer beef liver, but how much liver are you supposed to put in? Yes, 5% of the recipe, and he put two pounds. What's wrong with that? That's a good way that a dog's gonna get pancreatitis. It's way too fatty, way too rich. Pancreatitis is when your dog just has horrible poops, uncontrollable poops. And if you get pancreatitis, they may have it for the rest of their life. I just, he's a vet tech, huh? Back for the next step in a little bit. Now we've been boiling or simmering for probably close to an hour and a half. I emptied a little bit of the water out just because I felt like there was a little too much. This is gonna help harden up the mixture, kind of fill in all the water space, and it'll create a more workable product. You'll see at the end what it looks like. So we're just gonna add in some rice and our last thing will be the eggs. The rice will cook for about 20 minutes at most. Is, oops, paper. The rice needs 20 minutes at most when the eggs. Now this is going to take like two hours to um, cool down. This thing stays hot for a long time. I'm going to throw in the eggshells as well. And if I had more eggs, I would even throw in more. You could throw in six or even 12 into a mixture this big. Eggs are great for dogs and very simple and cheap. Okay, two things wrong with that video. Remember I told you earlier to keep in your mind how he added one or two inches of water? Where did all that other liquid come from? <laughs> come on, you know this. When you cook up that sausage roll of beef, what comes out of that? Like a cup of it, it's fat. All that, the chicken thighs that he cooked an hour and a half, there's so much fat on chicken thighs. I mean, most of that liquid is fat. Now, dogs need fat, but animal fat is high in omega-6s, and the ratio of omega should be four omega-6s to one omega-3. That recipe, I guarantee you, has a lot of omega-6s. And omega-6s, if you have too many, is bad because it causes inflammation. And inflammation is a precursor to disease, as in cancer. And another thing wrong with that video is the rice. Why did he add rice? The only time that I add rice is when my dog has tummy issues. Otherwise, rice has no nutritional value in the dog's food. A lot of rice has arsenic. The only rice from the United States that is low in arsenic is from California. If you buy rice that's from Texas or Arkansas, it's high in arsenic. Now, Basani, I can't say it right, Basmati rice uh, from India, that, that's good to get. But you gotta be careful about the rice. And if you look at all the dog food ingredients for commercial dog food, or also the, the farmer's dog, just food for dogs that comes to your house that's exorbitantly expensive, they all have rice in it. Why is that? Because it makes it bulk up. It makes it seem like, oh, I'm getting a good deal. My dog's getting a lot of food for the money. But no, it's cheap fillers. If you wanna add any kind of filler to your homemade dog food, I would suggest doing non-GMO oatmeal, or you could do some pinto beans that you have soaked overnight to get the lechins out and then cook it in a slow cooker. He's a vet tech? Okay, maybe he is, but he doesn't know about nutrition. Big container, 
It's a little bit higher than that little one, and it's a lot wider. So it's more in here, obviously, than in there. And this should last probably about seven to ten days for my dog. And I do feed him some other things as well. All right, that last video. <laughs> so he's going to put the little container in the freezer. And then the bigger container, he says, is going to be good for his dog. I think he said seven to ten days. So he's going to leave that container of food in his refrigerator for seven to ten days. Would you eat something in your refrigerator, prepared food, that was seven to ten days old? No, you don't do that. You only leave food the maximum three days in your refrigerator. Again, I say he's a vet tech. I don't know what he is. You know, he really could be a vet tech. But I'm telling you, just because there are words in the YouTube description, the title, don't believe that that's a good video. You got to know your sources. Anyway, it was kind of fun for me to do this video. Um, if you have any dog food reviews, you know, commercial products or whatever, you want me to review, send them my way. I have one of my clients, she sent me six brands of dog food to review. And you know, she, it was a consult because that was a lot of work for me to go through all those. But just to review um, you know, a brand, it's kind of fun for me, so I'll do it. All right, that's it from Cut the Kibble. We're still on the couch here. Bye-bye.